I'm just gonna get it out of the way. The world sucks, you know? Trump sucks, like, China sucks, right? Come on, like, if China could um, just, you know, not lie about how serious coronavirus is, we may not even be in quarantine right now, right? And if Trump took actions, like, you know, better, more effectively than what he just, like, did right now, we would still be in a better, like, you know, situation than right now. But, so what? You can't do anything about it, so you have to deal with it. You know, you have to move yourself and motivate yourself to ignore these things and try to become the best you can out of these hazardous situations, you know? For example, if, I don't know, you failed your AP test, hopefully you don't. If you failed your AP test, you're going to be really, really down, but after you finished it, I mean, after you knew your results, I mean, all you can do is be sad and like just, that's all you can do, right? Like rather than wasting time on being sad about like how you failed your test or something like that, why not think positively and use that as motivation to do better on your next test, right? And I mean, they always say it doesn't matter, you know, if like, I don't know, what college you get in. I mean, it really doesn't. Even if you got, like, a really, really trash college, you can still be really good in your life if you have a positive view on things when there is a negative situation in your way, right? So just try and learn how to be positive in those negative ways, you know? Like, think of negative things as, like, whoa, positive things. Like, um, wow, I failed my test maybe that's just like like a, a, a positive thing you know like something that I can use to like get my like stuff together and like be able to do better on the next test and better and better and better consequently right and so that's one technique and the other is just like you know ignore it you know you can be sad for like a few hours right but like me being like me, I am a very uh, not like like a uh, holding person. Like I don't really like grasp onto like my failure that much. You know, I just like ignore it after like I mean I mean I may cry or like just be really sad for like a little bit, but like you know you see more stuff and then you get distracted like how much work you have and how much like things you need to do in order to like just be a good person right or like just have positive outcomes from this negative situation so same with coronavirus like you can't go outside well that's good you i mean maybe you always wanted to stay inside and play video games and maybe i mean the outside is like i don't know hazardous and like the sunshine right you're not going to get sunburned or stuff like that i mean i know that's a stretch but like still we're just trying to like you know see how this works and um taking this coronavirus you know like like oh, i'm just gonna say this every time there is a virus like epidemic the resulting population you know before vaccines were created they are all like they all survive this virus which means they're strong enough. And then the people who are not strong enough, they're dead. You know, like this is history. It's like, like how people like just, you know, it's like a process of elimination, you know, like just the useless people to die. And then, you know, like they can't function anymore. I mean, that that's bad, but like, you have to know that the reason you're living is because one, you have a good immune system. Two, you're just, in a very prestigious like place so please like you know just understand that you are very very special and everything positive can come out of negative things if you try